Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you some products that I bought from Dollar Tree. I went to Dollar Tree this time and I was like, okay, let me buy some products and tools that I would use for my natural hair. Let's try them out and see if I love any and I would recommend them or if I don't like any and I wouldn't, I would tell you guys to try and avoid these products. Now, if you didn't know, Dollar Tree basically sells everything for a dollar or dollar twenty-five, depending on where you live. In Canada, it's a dollar twenty-five, but that's still affordable. So I was like, let me pick up some stuff, let me try them out, and that's what we're going to do in this video. I'm going to share with you guys some products, some tools, some things that you can use for organization and storage in regards to your hair. So if you are interested in seeing these things, finding out some stuff, make sure you guys stay tuned, and let's get into this video. The first thing that I purchased were these two brush holders, <laughs> and you guys are probably like, okay, they're two brush holders move on next no no i bought these actually for something else so i don't know if it's like you guys if this is with you guys when it comes to our natural hair tools keep them all in a bin in a basket just somewhere where wherever you need those those tools you go into that specific spot and take it out anyways and whenever i am going in that bin i always have to be digging for my edge brushes right so i'm always in there digging digging and then whenever i travel because i have to travel a lot for work or when i'm creating videos or photos i have to bring my edge brush with me and I noticed that in the bag, whenever I have it, it can get onto like my products or like the gel that's on it gets in the same bag where the edge brush is stored, right? So I bought these just for the edge brush to take away the hassle of always digging for it and just to keep it like secured in one spot so all the product on the brushes doesn't transfer onto anything else. So I bought it and I was like, yeah, um, I don't even know how this came to me. I think I saw, I watched a video of someone like just packing. And they were like, yeah, I'm gonna put my toothbrush in here just to have it so I can brush my teeth. Like most people regularly buy these things for. And then it just came to me, I was like, wait, why don't I use this for my edge brushes, my edges? my baby hair brushes right so if you're like me and you don't really care you can put two in one but literally if you put two in one they're the brush is going to your edge brushes are probably going to form like this so probably don't want to if you care about it but i don't because like these edge brushes mold the way that you want to so you can just put one in it and then you can close it see so this is the organization and storage hack in one so whenever i go into the bin with all my natural hair tools i know it automatically if i see this or this this is where my edge brushes are in and whenever i'm traveling this is what I use. Throw inside my bag. Trust me, this has saved me. And now the next thing that I bought from Dollar Tree are two brushes. I bought these two brushes for your edges. Okay, I have one of these two brushes that I got from Dollar Tree. And I keep, as I showed you guys, I keep the two brushes in this. They sell two brushes singular. They sell two brushes in pairs. I think they sell two brushes in threes or fours. I can't remember. But you can definitely go to Do Dollar Tree just to buy your two brushes for your edges, okay? They also sell edge brushes there as well. I think I've improved on my baby hairs tremendously. That you can purchase, I bought from there as well. They sell the beauty supply store too, so you can pick and choose, okay? But mainly at Dollar Tree that I've been to, they only sell the medium and the soft tube brushes. They don't sell the hard bristle tube brushes, and I was trying to look for them because for my edges, I like having soft, I mean, much more harder bristle tube brushes, right? Yeah, so this is what I can do for now. I got these two here, it's good so far. Highly recommend. Now, the next thing that I bought from Dollar Tree are the deep conditioners. So I have two here. They're called the Daily Defense Deep Conditioners. They're all sulfate free, of course. And this one is breakish defense, and this one's color defense. And I bought the color defense one because I know I'm going to be dyeing my hair soon, so I want to try this out on color treated hair and then this one I got for breakage defense because for some reason sometimes I think my hair breaks but I wanted to try it out anyway so these are three minute leave-in conditioners I use them and let me tell you about this one I didn't use this one yet but I'm gonna tell you guys about this one that I bought so daily defense I always see them at dollars like at Dollarama we sell them at Dollar Tree I bought in the past like their shampoos their conditioners I didn't even know that they had deep conditioners okay I was shocked when I saw this I was like oh they have deep conditioners but obviously so with these things here these are one-time use deep conditioners especially if they care if anything there were one and a half time use okay because with just me using this one time and I was like oh this is basically done let me see if I can show you guys how it looks on the inside so next time I use this I'm only gonna be able to use this plus another deep conditioner I'm gonna have to use two deep conditioners in my hair because this is like a travel size pack like if you're going on vacation and you know that you're gonna want to deep condition your hair once during the whole travel just bring one of these with you because this is not gonna last you a long time if you're staying at someone's house for the weekend and you know you're gonna deep condition your hair once bring one of these okay yes it's only a dollar but it's i wouldn't recommend it because it might as well you spend the money and buy like a big huge deep conditioner at beauty supply store or like walmart or something instead of buying these small little packets but do they work yes i think it does work it does soften up your hair i haven't used it 
frequently to tell you if it helps with breakage, but it did soften up my hair, made my hair soft. It defined my curls a lot. That's what conditioners usually do. And it's sulfate free, so worth a try. You guys can try it out. And it's probably gonna be the same for this as well. They smell good. It will smell good, but you guys can try this out. I would recommend you guys trying this out. But again, travel size, so <laughs> keep that in mind. Okay, so the next thing that we have on the list is a heat protectant. So this is Salon Selective's heat protectant, and this smells so good. It's like tropical wet, tropical coconut oil. So this heat protectant comes in a spray format because we know some heat protectant comes in like serums, they come in all these different ways. So I liked it because of it. Hey, party people. Bum, bum, bum. They don't give it to you fill in the bottle. They give it to you like right here. So it's not like a full body you're getting. Anyways, let's just spray it. Oh, as you guys can tell, it's a spray heat protectant, which is good. It smells so good though. But let's spray some right here. It's not smoking like some heat protectants do. It felt like a heat protecting one, that texture that heat protecting gives. It felt like that on the hair, but not only that, it smelled good. Did it work? Because I don't really use straighteners a lot. But if you're looking for affordable heat protectant that you want to try out to see it work, you guys can try the Salon Selective Heat Protectant. It smells good. It's sulfate free, as they say again. So it's only a dollar. You can't go wrong. Now, when I went there, I was like, oh wait, Salon Selectives have a heat protectant because I've seen sele Salon Selectives at these types of stores again. Dollarama, Dollar Tree. I mainly saw them in shampoos and conditioners, so I never knew they even sold heat protectants, right? So I saw it, I was like, well, let me try it, okay? So this heat styling tool is obviously supposed to protect your hair against heat, okay? When you put it in your hair, it's supposed to reduce the amount of damage you would get by putting heat on your hair. Now, I honestly feel like heat protectants don't actually work because whenever you're, you're, someone's doing your hair, they always put such a little amount in your hair. I'm like, does it actually work? So let me know down below if you're someone who has to section your hair and then put the heat protective based on every single section that you're going to straighten or blow dry or do you just lightly spray it all over here? Because a lot of hairdressers are just lightly spray it over your hair. And I'm just like, is this actually going to reduce that's that? And that's all I really can say about this. So the next thing that I bought was a hard bristle brush and I bought this hard bristle brush mainly for slicking your hair So whenever you're slicking your hair, you always want to go to a hard bristle brush I always buy my brushes from the beauty supply store, but I saw them at Dollar Tree and I was there I was like, well, let me just try it out. It's probably the same thing, which it actually is So this is a brush for closer view and then Yeah, this is gonna go be my go-to brush. I'm giving this a 10 out of 10. I didn't find any gel from Dollar Tree. I was looking, I was looking, I was looking. Because I wanted to try it out for my hair. But the thing with the beauty supply store, I think they sell like them for 50 cents each or you get two for a dollar um, or two for a dollar fifty. So if you're in Canada, you might save only like a few cents by shopping at the beauty supply store. I can't remember, but again, you want these because they're very tough, hard bristles, as you guys can see. And you want that whenever you want to slick down your hair to make your hair very flat, sweet, and look really good. So yeah, as you guys can see, it does work. You always want one of these in your natural hair kit. Speaking of natural hair kit, I have a video on my channel sharing with you guys some natural hair must-haves for beginners. You can shop all at the beauty supply store. So I'm going to link that video, guys. Watch. Definitely go watch it, but I sleep my hair with this too right now. It just works. You guys need one of this There's nothing more I can say. There's a lot of different brushes there style textures Sizes that you can choose from but always need a sleep brush. Okay, so the next thing that I bought was another instant repair leave-in conditioner from salon selective So Brazilian Carrington oil deep conditioner as I talked about in the earlier clip So this is just the leave-in conditioner. This is supposed to in um, repair your hair so it's supposed to hydrate and shine. It's just an instant repair. Has Brazilian keratin oil. I don't care if you stuff. So I'm just putting them mainly at the ends of my hair because look at that. Here I drop old. I had braids in my hair for like uh, I would say like two and a half months. I was just wearing wigs so a lot of old hair is going to oh yeah. I noticed with conditioner it softens your hair, it defines your curls a little bit, and it loosens up any like tangles or anything. And this actually works, it smells good. I don't know how long it's going to last. I'm not gonna say it's the best. Anyways, I like this. Of course, leave-in conditioners are supposed to help repair and soften hair. So the more I use this, I haven't been really seeing a difference, but I did see my hair was really, really soft when I was using this. Not gonna lie, and the formula is very lightweight. It's not liquidy, but it's not too thick. It's like in the middle. I just put in my hair. I mainly focused this on my ends though. Then, yeah, my hair was really soft. 
it was detangled and it just works well so it hydrates and shines and i'm going to continue using this so i do recommend you guys trying this you're not going to lose anything you're not going to lose out on anything try this like it's not going to do anything negative to your hair so why not we talked about those and then the last thing that i purchased was this hairspray would i recommend this hairspray not really <laughs> because i don't think that it works first of all this hairspray is the pantene pro v it says pro v hairspray fixed tip um in number four this just looks like a bootleg pantene pro v like it doesn't look like the real one that i'm used to seeing like their packaging is very bad i don't know if this is just the factory default that they just sent to dollar tree but i don't think this is a real one like even the symbol on it is really big and it just doesn't look real now i use this in my hair let me show you guys it does not look real this looks like bootleg i don't think this is an actual real pantene or maybe it's just a factory default one because the way it looks it looks like it's like fake just the writing on it let me see if i can show you guys just look at it it says fix it what is that and then this is so big on it it's so big and like fake it just looks fake i've been to a lot of asian stores so i can tell when things are fake where they sell fake stuff so i can tell when things are fake and i think that one's fake anyway this brush is really good let's see if it's still sticking up oh the hairspray's not bad it doesn't smell the best but it's fine anyways yeah i just don't feel like this will work and then my hair still was lifting like it wasn't actually holding down my hair and it doesn't even feel sticky in my hand so I don't know what's in this. I wouldn't recommend you guys trying this. And this was the only hairspray that I saw. I didn't see any other brands. So maybe if I go to a different Dollar Tree or go back, maybe they might have different brands. But I wouldn't recommend you guys buy this one because it's a waste of time. So avoid the hairspray and then try to find something else in the natural hair run that you would want to try out. And I'm going to save you guys from buying this one. It's not worth it, okay? And I don't really care. That's the thing with Dollar Tree. I don't care if something doesn't work out for me or something breaks because it's only a dollar. And that's a good thing. I think that's with a lot of us. We go there to try it out. If it doesn't work, we don't purchase back again. If it does work, we're purchasing it back again and we're telling people to buy. So give and take. So anyway, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys like it. Comment down below. What is something that you will most likely purchase from Dollar Tree? Give this video a thumbs up or comment down below if you'd love to see more Dollar Tree videos. And give me some ideas down below. And I'm going to link my other Dollar Tree videos on the screen here. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Au revoir.